Hello, welcome to our presentation and I am going to present our paper called Artificial Intelligence in Support of Welfare Monitoring of Dairy Cattle, a Systematic Literature Review. The authors are Lucas Mendes Lima, Vitor Caleb uh, Cavalcanti, Mariana Guimarães de Souza, Claudio Afonso Fleury, Diogo Oliveira e and Eduardo Noronha de Andrade Freitas. So the context of this paper is that although agribusiness corresponds to more than 20% of Brazil's gross domestic product, product um, most livestock is under manual control and manual monitoring, um, which, as you know, this can be a huge hassle. Now, additionally, alternative technologies are either uncomfortable and stressful. Although these technologies do exist, um, most of them are very stressful or they are either expensive. Despite the great scientific, scientific advances in the area, there is still a pressing need for an automated, robust, inexpensive and optimal or at least suboptimal technology to monitor animal behavior in cost-effective, contactless, and stress-free fashion. Um, overall, this niche can leverage the benefits of deep learning schemes. So, as you can see, um, the current technologies, techniques, methodologies that we have for um, uh, dairy cattle monitoring, they can be quite either expensive or stressful for the dairy cattle, which will obviously impact on production. So cattle mon monitoring has been a great of great economic importance farms, not only to check the comfort and welfare of animals, but also to facilitate that the decision making of the owners. However, most farms use manual monitoring through employees to verify such critical parameters. Clearly, this technique has some critical disadvantages in production, such as labor and time. Um, and this actually is valid for any area. Um, that, that is exactly why um, automation is, has become such a, um, a leveraging technology. Specifically, bovines are habit animals, and this is critical. Um, it's critical to understand that because since they are habit animals, they constantly repeat their actions every day, especially in farms. Now, some of them become critically uncomfortable with the presence of humans within their habitat, which is quite natural. Moreover, a standardized routine in the lives of these animals has an almost immediate effect on milk production, which explains why invasive methods, such as those earrings that um, some farmers use to monitor their cattle, um, are so, so harmful to production and why visual monitoring is a great deal to avoid these problems. Now, in this context, studies have been developed in the area of automatic and automated animal monitoring. Um, some of these projects proposed and deployed physical devices such as sensors, as the one that I just mentioned, those earrings, monitoring earrings, attached to the animal to indicate their status. Now, a number of these technologies are very easy to implement, dismissing great expertise, but despite their effectiveness, these methods are invasive and they can compromise the dairy cows, uh, dairy cows productivity, um, obviously, because it may cause stress. Thus, computer-based monitoring, specifically visual monitoring applications, have been developed and a number of research studies seek to constantly improve their techniques and generate better outcomes finding an ideal trade-off between cost and the animal's welfare. Um, that, that's the goal. Now, the aim of this work is to present some of the projects that are being carried out in the area of dairy cow behavior monitoring using techniques of visual computing. So, as you can see, 
the goal of this study is to not is not to propose a um, some sort of visual monitoring technique, but to analyze the current ones, the ones that are available, the ones that are being developed, and um, by doing that, analyze the best practices, the ones that are being more effective specifically. Now, in order to do that, in order to monitor cattle, behavior recognition needs to be implemented. Many diseases, and that's because many diseases and discomforts generate patterns of behavior in dairy cattle that can be visually perceived. With this in mind, behavioral monitoring models are deployed to ensure the animal's welfare and facilitate decision-making. Initially, it is necessary to list the target behaviors to describe the importance of its constant monitoring. Um, so, the, in regards to these behaviors, we can highlight at least the most important ones or the ones that are considered the most by most farmers and uh, specialists. For instance, we have the cattle behavior with lame lameness, namely cattle lameness. So lameness is one of the most critical problems in dairy farming and it's associated with animal stress level which clearly compromises production and productivity. We also have body condition score or BCS, which is an important parameter in the analysis of the animal's energy reserve, and it can be visually computed indicating the health and productivity of the animal. Furthermore, we have feeding behavior, basically um, analyze what, they, what and how much they are drinking and eating. So the cattle's feeding behavior says a lot about their health and consequently um, about their well-being. We also have uh, estrus, which detects cows. Um, detecting cows in estrus is a critical feature in farm management, facilitating reproduction control. Mounting is another um, behavior uh, recognition factor that should be considered. Um, it's an important behavior in the control of animal reproduction in cow mounting, helping owners to control the number of animals in the farm. We must also analyze hoof disease. Hoof lesions can be painful and cause limping or lameless um, when walking, which will obviously, once again, generate discomfort and stress to the cattle. So hoof discomfort can affect the bovine's diet and body functions, causing weight loss and redu reducing milk production as a result. And lastly, but not least, cow's body position, um, also known as gesture, classification, cattle pose, and seeing interactions behaviors. Because, well, just like human beings and actually any other being, um, the body position can tell a lot about that individual. Um, now, in regards to our systematic review planning, um, a research question definition should be put in place. Now, so what this means is we had to define the questions that we wanted to answer. So the initial stage of this systematic review is planning. It is composed of the definition of objectives, research questions, literature platforms such as where to search for data, um, specifically the research database, and how we're going to do, how we were supposed to perform those searches, basically talking about search patterns, and then filter down to papers that should be included or excluded from our search, and then extract the data out of those um, papers that were filtered down. Aiming to search for information in the context addressed, the following research questions were defined. The first one and the primary one, what artificial intelligence techniques and methods have been employed and deployed to recognize dairy cattle behavior? So basically, what are the techniques that researchers are um, proposing and deploying. Now, the secondary question is, 
are these techniques efficient and effective? So, in order to answer those questions, we had to determine our search, how we were supposed to perform the search, filter down the papers, and then finally analyze the data uh, set that were provided by those studies. So, basically, we're talking about quality and amplitude. Um, the Peacock method which stands for Population Intervention Comparison Outcome and Context, was considered. It is used to define the objectives and to help in the design of the search strings defining some keywords. Um, so, some keywords and synonyms that we used. Behavior, behavior, now obviously depends on the region. Behavioral, comfort, welfare, computer vision, image analysis, image processing, real-time real -time image, along with dairy cow, dairy cattle, and population. So, these are some combinations that we used in our search in order to find, once again, to find the papers, to find the articles, um, the studies that were being conducted. And then we have the population, which is, which is the research group or groups and developers in the area of dairy cattle recognition were observed. The present review is of interest for this group of people. So, who, who we are directing these studies to. Intervention. Um, the intervention is given by the tool technology that will be used. In this case, the methodology is computer vision. Once again, just another factor that we use to filter down the studies that we were supposed to analyze. With that in hand, we had to perform a comparison, other current approaches to monitoring dairy cattle behavior, and then the outcome. The result is an, the analysis of relevant data extracted from the most interesting articles or papers published in this theme. We also have the context. The context of the study is to monitor the behavior of dairy cattle cows and this search is conducted in academia and finally control some relevant papers in the context of the systematic review were selected as control papers to assist in the search string length so once again the peacock method or methodology was put in place in order to define um, the papers that we were going to consider how to perform the search and how to fil filter down to what we were actually looking looking into. Now, in regards to the inclusion criteria, the um, papers uh, the, or the strings that we 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 would would use to define and determine the papers that should be included in our analysis. So the paper addresses cattle's body position analysis. The paper addresses dairy cows' behavior or welfare monitoring, and the paper addresses dairy cows health monitoring. We should exclude, 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 and that's what we did, papers that were simply conducting an, an overview. They were emphasizing on biological study. That's not our focus. Once again, we're focusing on machine learning. Um, does not address dairy cows, obviously, does not ad address cattle behavior or welfare because, once again, the behavior and welfare is um, to our analysis. That is a major factor because it affects production and does not address imaging because, once again, the idea was to find the papers, the studies that are conducting cattle monitoring, dairy cattle monitoring using image. So, in summary, we have our research question definition and um, the question quality and amplitude was supposed to be uh, filtered, determined, um, and tailored. Then we'd, we'd define our search strategy for primary study selection, the study selection criteria and procedure to get to the data extraction form, perform the primary study selection process 
to finally reach our results extraction and summary strategies. In regards to the, to the papers, and specifically the digital libraries that um, from which they were extracted, um, in engineering, because of engineering computer science, we focused more on IEEE and ACM digital libraries more, but mo and obviously um, the the other digital libraries they were found, or the papers in the other digital libraries were found through Google Scholar. As you can see, Google Scholar presented the most of the results. Um, basically, 90% of the, the papers that were analyzed came from Google Scholar. Now, once we performed those searches, in phase one, we were searching for relevant papers using basically using those search strings, and we found 687 papers. Then in phase two, we went through the classification of studies through the title and abstract analysis. So it was a uh, some sort of deeper analysis that allowed us to reduce the number of papers to 102. And then finally in phase three, that's when we performed data extraction by reading each paper from the previous phase, from phase two. And that, that allowed us to reduce even more the number of papers that we were analyzing. So we filtered down from 687 papers to um, 64 papers. So about 10% of the, uh, compared to the first phase, to the first search. Now, another interesting number that you can see here is the number of papers according to the date. As you can see, um, specifically, and we believe that it's specifically because of the growth of deep learning and machine learning techniques, we only start to see the number of research studies going up um, in around 2016, 2017. Before that, the numbers were quite low, and we can include 2015 as well. Before that, the number of papers were very, uh, uh, very little. And we can also take a look at the, at the, the those research studies based on country and continent, if you will. So, um, as you can see, Basically, no studies were performed in North America. So we're summarizing, we're basically um, analyzing South America, Europe, um, Australia, and um, part of Asia and Europe. Uh, yeah, and I mentioned Europe as well. Now, this is an additional um, uh, 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 classification that we did, which is very important. So, considering the, the, the part of the cattle that those studies were considering, now, once again, we're considering studies that were using imagery to monitor um, dairy cattle behavior. So, if it's con using imagery, obviously, there is a part or parts of the cattle that is being analyzed mostly. And we can see that most of the those monitoring uh, techniques are monitoring the back of the cattle. And that is because uh, basically the, the behavior, once again, has a lot to do with the body language. And the body language can be monitored mo uh, mostly by the animal's back. Also, another important factor is the number of papers according to the target behavior. And we discussed the target behaviors earlier. So you can see here that the body condition score or BCS is the one that is mostly considered by most of those studies. So about 12 of those papers are fo on those, out of those 64 papers are focusing on uh, body condition score. Um, nine of those papers are focusing on lameness, and then you have the other uh, criterias here. Now, 
As final considerations and conclusion, we can see that any stressful situation for the animal can alter its well and their welfare and consequently reduce the final productivity and production of the system. So the main objective of this paper was to show in an efficient way the studies in behavior monitoring area, basically focusing on what are they analyzing in order to make their system so efficient. Taking a look at previous topics, most of the analyzed papers have in common a standard algorithm, recognize the individual animal and then analyze the animal, uh, animal behavior. As could be seen in the image um, on the right, in figure 6, 19 of uh, the accepted papers use the cattle's back view as we previously mentioned. There are a lot of uh, advantages in using this part of the body um, the pattern of the body skin is not unique for every cow, but it's a strong feature to recognize each class individually. Another great advantage of this body part is that multiple cows with one single frame can be analyzed. There is no need to take a shot of each cow isolated, dismissing the need for a huge amount of um, cameras. Additionally, the monitoring of cattle is a hot topic nowadays. It is expected more and more papers and searches in this area in order to reduce expenses for farm owners. Probably in some years, monitoring automation will be mandatory for any farm due to the great economic advantage that this offers. Besides, it is expected that the information collected and presented in the uh, present systematic review paper contribute to future researches in the area and the application of new techniques. That is our paper. Thank you very much. Um, and if you will, feel free to contact us by email. Thank you.